I said it's hard for me to love I really thought that you would be the one Maybe it's hard for me to love Cause you told me you changed but I did not see one What is up everybody? It is Kayla Beasley here uh, It's a pleasure to be with you So today I'm gonna be doing something very different uh, for the channel um, I've always wanted to get into reaction videos, but I've had a hard time figuring out how to set up everything, um, you know, what software to use, um, camera, all the, all the different stuff and audio. So it's taken a lot of time, a lot of research, a lot of, you know, maybe reaching out to other people, trying to get advice. Um, so it's been a lot of that, but it has brought me to this point. I think we are ready to go. <clears throat> so I just want to say, um, thank you to everybody that is going to watch this and thank you to everybody that has watched any previous video that I've ever put out in the past. I really appreciate it. Um, this video that we're going to be reacting to today is a wrestling related video. Some may know I am very into wrestling. Uh, I find it to be very uh, entertaining and all the drama and stuff like that. So uh, I do find it to be very entertaining. So I'm always watching a lot of wrestling videos and I thought it would be cool to actually be able to react to some of these videos. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This video is sponsored by WrestleMania. I have been subscribed to WrestleMania for quite some time. It's been an incredible uh, experience being subscribed to them. They're always putting out some great stuff. So I want to check out... Um, it's actually been a little bit of time since I've actually been on the channel and seen some stuff. So I came across this video. 10 surprise entrants rumored WWE Royal Rumble 2024. Royal Rumble's coming up. Uh, very excited. It should be interesting to see uh, what is what is going to happen just with this whole WrestleMania season, especially with The Rock uh, coming back. And will Cody finish the story? What's going to happen? So where's CM Punk going to be? You know, so there's so many different things. So here we go. For the first time ever, let's do the reaction video. The 2024 Royal Rumble is almost here. As always, fans are expecting numerous surprises for the show. The Royal Rumble is typically the match in which legends from the past and even wrestlers from other wrestling companies make shocking appearances. And these cameos end up being the talk of the wrestling world. Join us now as we look at 10 of the biggest rumored Royal Rumble surprises for go. the 2024 Royal go. Rumble. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Abyss. The TNA legend Abyss has been with WWE for several years now, working as a backstage producer. Abyss's work in his role has received widespread praise, and Abyss is widely regarded as one of the best producers in the entire company. Every year since Abyss signed with WWE, there's been a push from fans to see Abyss make a cameo in the Royal Rumble match. Abyss was briefly an on air character as Joseph Park in 2020, yet this never really went anywhere. Could 2024 finally be the year in which the monster finally appears in a WWE match? It'd be great. I personally don't really know anything about TNA. Uh, I don't really follow TNA. Um, know a little bit about AEW, but I'm more so a WWE uh, fan. So not sure, but it looked like some cool stuff that he may be able to bring to the table. To see, and it doesn't matter if the appearance is as the Abyss or as Joseph Park. It'd be wonderful for newer WWE fans to see how gifted the in-ring Abyss truly is. Number nine, Brock Lesnar. Oh, I hope Brock so. Brock Lesnar's I been absent so. from WWE. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I miss Brock Lesnar. What is going on? Where is he at? I need Brock Lesnar. I know a lot of people were, you know, kind of getting a little maybe tired of Brock, especially with the stuff with Cody and everything like that. Um, I, at the time I was in a phase where when Cody lost to Roman at WrestleMania, and I apologize for the hat, by the way, it's cold. It's like negative 10 degrees outside and it's definitely feeding over into here. But I personally, I was not mad when Cody lost, um, because to me, like from not following him along in AEW, I knew that he had obviously kind of turned himself around and the, uh, you know, he had made a huge comeback career wise. But for me and thinking about, you know, what, where he left WWE on, uh, and seeing him kind of work his way back there, I guess I just didn't know enough about him at the particular time that, he, you know, he needs to be the person to dethrone Roman Reigns. So I didn't know much about him. I did pop when uh, when Roman beat him. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I went crazy. I was like, oh, because I thought 
and they had me so convinced that it was going to happen. Cody's for sure winning. Uh, Brock Lesnar, probably one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, comes out, kicks some ass, and he's legitimately like, you can believe it. You can buy into him. You can buy into the fact that he's a certified ass kisser. Uh, kisser, wow. No, 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 not on the first reaction video. I'm out here messing up. No, I meant certified ass kicker. And I gotta leave that in. I gotta leave it in. But certified ass kicker, he he's he's an all-around badass. So I, I need Brock. When that music hits, I, I just, I need Brock. TV since his loss to Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam in Certified 2023. Kisser, this was a match which saw Lesnar go off script to embrace Rhodes and seemingly turn babyface. Lesnar is still firmly with the WWE and is expected to be involved in the WrestleMania 40 build in some capacity. So. One match that fans firmly have their eyes on for Lesnar at WrestleMania is the showdown with Gunther. This is the considered a true yeah. match by many, and WrestleMania 40 seems like the most probable place that WWE will deliver the match up. Lesnar making a, a surprise match. return in the Rumble and confronting Gunther could be the perfect way to set the match up. Having Gunther eliminate Lesnar or vice versa would plant the seeds ahead of WrestleMania and it would whet the appetite of fans ahead of a potential collision Absolutely. on the grandest stage. Number eight, Chris Masters. For the past several years, Chris Masters has been teasing that he could potentially be a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble match. Whilst Masters wasn't exactly the biggest star in the world during his time in WWE, Fans will no doubt fondly remember his character and the reaction if his music hits on January 27, 2024 may surprise fans as Masters could receive a thunderous pop. Masters has a solid gimmick and seeing his iconic entrance again would be a sheer delight. It appears that the masterpiece has managed to keep a solid relationship with WWE which is a positive sign and you never know, Masters oh, making a surprise thing? return to the Rumble could open the door for one final run in the company. Number seven, Corey Graves. What? When Corey Graves revealed that it would be possible for him to compete in the ring again, fans instantly began to imagine Graves taking part in the Royal Rumble match. Wow. Whilst this is yet to happen, Graves revealed in late 2023 during an interview with Steelers Takeaways that he would like to return to the ring for a one-off appearance. The transition in a weird way saved me from what could have been. Instead of grieving over the loss of my dream as an in-ring performer, it gave me something new to focus my energy on while staying in the business. I found a new mountain to climb. In hindsight, it really helped me deal with that loss. I have a clean bill of health now, thanks. I actually got medically cleared a couple of years ago to perform in the ring again. I flirted with the idea and I'm waiting for a potential opportunity if it presents itself. More of a one-time thing like McAfee has done, not a full-time in-ring performer. The Rumble could therefore be Graves' perfect opportunity to return to the ring and seeing the former NXT Tag Champion compete with modern talents such as LA Knight, Cody Rhodes, and Gunther would make wow. for a very interesting visual yeah, to say the very it least. Would. It would, and he's, and Russell Amy is right, the perfect time for him to make that sort of return uh, is going to be the Royal Rumble. <clears throat> that would be a good opportunity, even if you wanted to do a one-off match after that and maybe use the Royal Rumble to just kind of... Um, you know, get the feel for being back in the ring again, run the ropes, uh, you know, hit a couple moves, hit the finisher. That'd be a good opportunity. Um, I think right now, is, isn't is it Corey Graves and Kevin Patrick on uh, SmackDown for commentary? Because I haven't seen, I didn't see Michael Cole on there uh, in, the, in the most recent episode of SmackDown. And I'm not really into Kevin Patrick. So it automatically elevates Corey Graves as far as talking on the microphone, when you put him next to someone like Kevin Patrick. Uh, but for me, yeah, if he wants to get back in the ring, go for it. There's a lot of opportunities to do that in the Royal Rumble. Number six, Wade Barrett. Yes! Since becoming a full-time commentator in WWE, Wade Barrett has ascended to become one of the most popular commentators so in far. recent memory. <laughs> Barrett is considering improving his craft, and it's apparent that Barrett has a long career ahead of him at the announcer's table. Despite his success as an announcer, there continues to be rumors that he could potentially return to the ring great for one more run. He was great Barrett had ring. never directly ruled this out. In fact, he said that he still trains regularly, so a Rumble appearance wouldn't be unrealistic. Yeah. If WWE were going to book Barrett as a surprise for the 2024 Rumble, one way WWE could deliver it might be having Barrett's music hit while he's delivering commentary. In an epic moment, Barrett could get up from the commentary desk, enter the match, and take everyone in the match to Bullhammer City. That's true. Number five, Zach. That's true. Do you remember? Oh, that's going to be interesting. That, now, that would be interesting. You guys remember Bad News Barrett? 
<clears throat> and I feel like, you know, for me at the time, especially when it was like the Nexus, I, I wasn't into the core, but the Nexus and all that stuff, we obviously all know who should have won that match when it was Team Nexus versus Team Cena. We know who should have won that match. Um, because after that, I found it very difficult, as did many fans, to, to buy into that unit as something credible. And with um, Way Barrett now, you know, I feel like he was getting somewhere with the, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. You know, and that was a horrible impression, by the way. But I just feel like he he has... Now would be a much better opportunity for him to try to get back into it because obviously there's been some massive creative changes within WWE. There's been some massive ownership changes. It's just kind of a new, and you can feel it. You know, I, none of us know 100% of what's going on behind the scenes. But, and I'm not saying that everything they put out is perfect, but the stories are making more sense now. There's a lot more uh, continuity in the stories and there's a lot more. Uh, it makes a lot more sense. I've seen a lot less cringe moments, you know, so this would be a much better opportunity for him to come in. And especially if he's been training for a while, um, I could definitely see that. This next one I'm excited for. Woo, woo, woo. Ryder. When Zack Ryder departed WWE, Ryder immediately picked himself up and decided to make a name for himself yeah, on the independent scene. Yeah. Ryder, who now uses his name Matt Cardona, has become a megastar outside the WWE bubble, and it wouldn't be a huge surprise if Ryder finds himself back in WWE sooner rather than later. Appearing on Five Falls The Hump, the former Intercontinental Champion discussed what it would take for him to return to WWE, and as always, Ryder had a smart and savvy answer. Listen, if I get the phone call right now, of course I'd pick it up and we'd have a conversation. I'd be lying if I never said I wanted to wrestle at Madison Square Garden again or wrestle at WrestleMania again. But for now, I'm having the time of my life. I'm having so much fun. I'm making so much money. Sure what would it take? Cash and creative, you know? Yeah. There's no guarantees in wrestling, but I need some intention. You know what I'm saying? I don't just want to be another guy on the roster. Been there, done that. Yeah. Nothing against that. But I did that. I'm over it. Yeah. Number four. Yeah, and I think that he's making some good points as well because somebody like even the previous version of Cody Rhodes, you know, was just another person on the roster. And I think WWE in the past few years has done a good job of trimming up that excess fat on the roster and really being able to focus on what they have. Uh, they built up a lot of stars. Um, they built up a lot of superstars, a lot of really over people. And if they use, I mean, Zack Ryder got himself over, you know, he got himself over back then with his show on YouTube back in like 2011. And that was before it was popular to do a show on YouTube. So my thing is that if he could come in at the right time and they could do something with him creatively and pay him the right amount of money, because, you know, obviously he's making a lot of money doing what he is now. Pretty much everybody in WWE is making good money, but I think they need to pay him his worth for sure. Pay him his worth and give him some sort of creative control over his over his character in the direction as to you know where where he wants to go. Sky's the limit for him. Spark. In September 2023, X-Pac revealed during an interview with Chris Van Vliet that he would be able to take part in a Royal Rumble match. Okay. This is an exciting concept as X-Pac as a surprise entrant <laughs> would be incredibly special, especially because his WWE appearances have been limited and X-Pac hasn't wrestled a feature match in the company since 2002. Wow. An X-Pac Rumble appearance seems like a possibility, especially when you consider that X-Pac's longtime friend Triple H is running WWE and will be in charge of any surprise entrance. One of the criticisms directed towards surprise entrants in recent years is that WWE have booked names that fans have seen before. Xbox being a surprise entrant would offer something completely new, and there'll even be a selection of fans in attendance as well as watching at home that had never watched X Pac in the ring. Number three, AJ Lee. Okay. When CM Punk what? made his shocking return to WWE in late video. 2023, fans instantly began to fantasy book a WWE return for AJ Lee. AJ, during her first run in WWE, became one of the most popular female talents ever, and she also became a legitimate draw with her segments, often becoming the highest rated segment of the respective show. AJ retired in 2015 due to neck <laughs> issues, and in 2022, she described a potential return to the ring. Man, Kane was, pro <laughs> Kane was probably so happy. He was probably like, my God. Like that video of uh, Vince McMahon falling out of the chair. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, he probably went full like, oh my God. 
is one step at a time, implying that it's something that AJ has considered. In recent years, names such as Edge, Soraya and Brian Danielson have all managed to wrestle again following neck injuries, and hopefully the same goes for AJ. It wouldn't be too drastic to say that AJ's theme hitting in the Women's Rumble would send everyone into a frenzy, and the possibility of seeing AJ across from a modern great such as Becky Lynch, Bailey, and Bianca Belair could be a moment that fans never forget. Yeah, and the interesting thing with AJ is she's from a different era, and, and not really, a, sorry if you hear my dog eating in the background. Papa! Papa! No, but, so, AJ's from a different era, and it's crazy how much has changed, you know, since she's been gone. And I personally, I thought she was done with wrestling. But in wrestling, as you know, never say never because I would have never imagined that CM Punk would be back in wrestling in WWE. And um, even now, I'm still like, is he really back? And it's going to take some time. You know, it's going to take him to get his, uh, his, his opportunity at WrestleMania for me to actually like, wow, he's actually here. But AJ is from that Divas era, and that's not, it was not good. You know, now they call them what they are, women. You know, they're not, it's not, you know, you have the men's championship and then the Divas championship. I never understood that. The title belt did not look good. Um, and they just didn't take women's wrestling as seriously back then. Now, you know, women have main evented WrestleManias, closed out pay-per-views, main evented Raw, SmackDowns. They get more than two minutes to actually tell a story. So, this would be a great time for her to come back if that's something that she wants to do. You know, I don't I don't want to if she's done with wrestling great for her. You know, she's she's reached a, a star power um, to be able to walk away, obviously, for all this time and be good with that. But if, if that's something that she wants to come back and do, then I'm happy for her. Absolutely. And I, I'll woo, I'll be cheering for that for sure. Uh oh, don't call Steve Sorry, Austin. The wrestling no. world was stunned in 2023 no. when it was reported what? that WWE had pitched numerous matches for WrestleMania 39 for legendary Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin was pitched matches with both Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, yet he turned both of those down. Reports and rumblings of Austin wrestling again pick up in late 2023 when it was reported that WWE believed that Austin versus CM Punk was a genuine possibility. Yeah. It looks like WWE are moving forward with a Punk versus Seth Rollins program for WrestleMania 40. Yet this doesn't mean that Austin wouldn't be involved in the show. If Austin had agreed to work WrestleMania 40, a Rumble appearance may be the best way to plant the seeds for his future program. Possibly, there were yeah. so many options for Austin to face at WrestleMania in April. 1v1 matches with the likes of Lesnar, LA Knight, and even Ryan Tua are all considered dream matches that would lead to extensive interest from the casual audience heading into WrestleMania in Philadelphia. And number one, The Rock. Yeah. Is it finally time for The Rock to take on Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40? Well, The Rock hasn't ruled out a match, and according to the great one himself, it almost happened at WrestleMania 39. Yeah. If WWE is moving forward with the it dream match, close. then The Rock will no doubt play a big part in the Royal Rumble match. The Rock simply showing up and challenging Reigns will work for a premium <laughs> live event such as SummerSlam, but this is WrestleMania, where the title opportunities are earned either in the Royal Rumble itself or in an Elimination Chamber match. The Rock returning to the Rumble would receive an earth-shattering reaction, yeah. yet there are so many solid options for the 2024 Rumble winner, including CM Punk and Cody Rhodes, that WWE may question if The Rock... I think <laughs> one of these three people on this on this page is going to win the Rumble. One of these three. And I think it's going to be him over here. I think it's going to be the Chicago-made Punk. I think so. And, of course, this is being filmed right here in the city of Chicago, state of Illinois, county of Cook, country of the United States. All right. So don't don't even be messing with this dude over here. This dude's from Chicago. Okay. So <laughs> Mr. Marietta, Georgia, in Miami, Florida. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Have your moment. And obviously, you know, I love The Rock. Have some, have respect for Cody Rhodes, everything. But this dude over here is from Chicago, Illinois. Hold up. Let me bring back something here just to, you know, let me dust this off. Some of you think I still don't have this stuff. Hold up. Quiet. Quiet. I'll be the judge of what happens here. Some of you forgot I still have this here. Judge Caleb is still alive. Judge Caleb is still alive. I think CM Punk's going to win it. If you have The Rock in the match, I think that would be super unpredictable. If you have Cody and CM Punk in there in the matches, I'm, I'm not going to know who's going to win. 
you know, so and, and that's exciting. You don't want it to be something that's spoiled ahead of time or something that's obvious, like in previous years, where as soon as this person's music hits, you're like, yeah, like when Ronda Rousey's music hit at the Rumble, and you're like, well, I might as well, you know, start driving. I might as well watch something else. Might as well turn on football or whatever. Um, so I think it's going to be one of these people here. Uh, is a right move the for the direction of the company. Whatever WWE has planned Six for the five. annual matchup, one thing is clear. The 2024 Rumble may be the most interesting and unpredictable Absolutely. WWE event said, of the yes. past decade. Who do you think will make it? Yeah, it's it's going to be something unpredictable. It's going to be something crazy. I, I do not know who is going to win this Rumble. Um, and that's good. I think that's exactly how it should be. It should be something... Uh, more of an unpredictable nature it should be something where you don't know who's gonna win so i'm excited for this royal rumble i'm excited for the elimination chamber uh and i'm excited for uh wrestlemania as well especially two nights of it this is gonna be awesome it's a great time to be a fan of wwe they're putting on some some excellent stuff so um thank you so much everybody to everybody that watched this video i really really appreciate it um it means a lot to me and it took a lot to get here to this point. It took a lot, more than I can ever even describe to you in this video. It took a lot to get here in, uh, to this point to be able to film this video. So thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already, if you feel willing to do so, please go ahead and drop a subscription uh, or like this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. He's worried about Alessandra, worried about Angelis. When the 